Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. We are doing another bottom shelf bourbon battle. Now, this is more like the entry level bottom shelf bourbon battle, because um, the bottom shelfers usually I try to steer towards that like ten to fifteen dollar mark, but um. I wanted to try these two out because they're both 86 proof bourbons and they are the entry level bourbons for their particular brand. So we have Evan Williams, Black Label, says it's Kentucky's first distiller. This is out of, currently out of the Heaven Hill Distillery and it is 78% corn, 10% rye, 12% malted barley. It sells for about $15 a bottle here in uh, Ohio MSRP and since Ohio is a state regulated liquor authority state that is that's the street price per the, the, the what else that's what it's supposed to be all over the place um, it's going up against Old Forester which is about seven dollars more twenty one dollars and ninety nine cents it is also 86 proof. It is 72% corn, 18% rye, 10% malted barley. So you got a little bit more of a higher rye mash bill on that. And um, I'm going to use my little, little glasses for this. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. And as you can see, I have um, enjoyed these two on occasion and uh let's see what we got here now like i said this says it's kentucky's first distiller old forester is the first bottled bourbon there you go so a couple of firsts there this is um brown is it brown forsman yeah brown forsman distillery and again, Heaven Hill on that. Both are screw caps. And um, at least with the Old Forester, this is the bottom of a pretty nice line of more elevated bourbons. I do enjoy their 100 proof expression. But then above that, they've got different like I, like 1910, 1920 Prohibition style. Um, you know, A cu couple of different styles, single barrels and stuff like that. Evan Williams also has a few different expressions as well. So we'll see what we got here. Now, I just want to see essentially if this is worth the additional $7 um, on the street. Like, should you splurge for this or is it best to save your seven bucks and go with this? So let's see what we got. All right. And I will say I am partial to Heaven Hill, Mashbill, Bourbon. Um, and this is the same Mashbill from what I could see for like Henry McKenna, Bottle and Bond. Um, of course, the Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. If you like JTS Brown, JW Dant, also Bond. I mean, same Mashbill. And um, at 86 proof, you're getting a little bit more bang for the buck. So let's try the Evan Williams first. Oh, even though it's this far down past the neck pour, there's still a harsh burn at the end. Um, but it is very sweet up front, probably because it's got so much corn whiskey in there. Um, but it's decent. I think that malted barley also is giving it a um, kind of like a butterscotchy ting to it. Um, it's a decent $15 bourbon. It would be good to use for mixing in like different cocktails or if you just want to add a splash to some 7-Up or ginger ale or perhaps some squirt or if you're in Kentucky, L8. That would, you know, the flavor would hold up good in a mixed drink, um, as opposed to sipping it straight. But let's see what we got with the old Forester. Mm. 
Mm. Definitely smoother. More of a... Um, now, I am getting that little harshness at the end, but it's not burning down the esophagus as the Evan Williams was. But, um, yeah, that's... If I'm looking for an inexpensive bourbon just to sip on and enjoy at a moderate proof, I'd probably go with that Old Forester over the Evan Williams. Uh, I would say, you know, spring, spring that extra $7. If that's what you're looking for. Um, it's okay neat. I think it would be a little bit better on the rocks. A little chill to it. A little dilution. Um, is probably how I would go for that. Um, still should hold up pretty decently in a cocktail. Or, again splash in some 7-Ups, uh, Squirt, Ginger Ale, or LA. But it's, I mean, it's, it is a better, on this level, better whiskey if you want to sip on something that um, is not going to be too harsh and obnoxious. I would go with the Old Forester on that one for the win. So there you are. <laughs> um, let me try one more. Harsh. <laughs> there you go. So the winner of this particular round, uh, this special round of bottom shelf battles, is going to be the old Forester. That's the stuff. That's good. And you know what? It only gets better <laughs> from this bottle. This is a decent bottle. The 100 proof is really good. I think that's only $2 more than that. Um, so you can just keep kind of going, adding a couple of bucks here and there to elevate the experience. So, all right. Well, that does it for this video, I suppose. Old Forester. Good bottom shelf sipping whiskey. So until next time, it's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. I hope your next pour is your best pour. We will catch you soon, and thank you so much for watching. Hey everyone, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.